channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today we are talking about my favorite kitchen tools and I'm going to go over my top 10 kitchen tools that I use, whether it's every single day or at least every single week, the things that I just find the most common that I grab and use in my everyday life and cooking. So I'm hopeful that you guys find this video helpful. I know that a lot of you have questions about certain things that I use and brands that I use. So I'm gonna be linking everything that I talked about down below and I'll talk about the specific brands of some of my larger appliances and why I have those brands instead of others and what I really like about them. So if you have any questions as we go, you can drop those down in the comments. And before we dive in, I would love to encourage you to join our community here on YouTube. If you enjoy healthy recipes and videos like this, it's a perfect place for you. And you can easily join by just clicking the red subscribe button that is right below this video. As always, I also have a blog post that goes along with this video, so you can find that linked down below as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So my first one is my high-powered blender. I think that a high-powered blender is one of the best things that you can have in your kitchen. I use mine multiple times a day. I have the Vitamix A3500, but I also have tried Blendtex, which also work really well. I just personally like Vitamix. I think they blend smoother, but I am a strong, strong believer in having a high-powered blender. I think that they are one of the most useful tools in a kitchen and I can't imagine living without mine. Number two is a high quality chef knife. I actually have two. I have a Wusthof as well as a Global. I like my Global because it is very light and the handle is very small. I find it really easy to hold. I think that they work really well for women's hands actually. And we also have a Wusthof knife, which I just got on Amazon. These two are definitely on the pricier side, but they are amazing and I think they are a must have. Number three is a knife sharpener. I actually don't use this all that frequently, but I wanted to include it right next to the knives because I think that having sharp knives is actually one of the best things that you can do and making sure that you sharpen your knives and making sure that they remain sharp is really great and it helps just make sure that cutting is easier. So this is just a handheld sharpener and they work really well and we try to do this on a semi-regular basis. Number four is a fish spatula. I actually only recently purchased one of these and I love it. It is my go-to spatula. The reason why they work really well is because it is really thin, but it's also long. So if you're flipping things like pancakes or you're flipping basically anything, they are amazing. I absolutely love them. And this one was only like seven bucks and I use it all the time. Number five is a mandolin slicer. I use my mandolin slicer a lot for things like salads. I use it for zucchini all the time. You guys have seen me use this a million times in videos. I love the one that I have. This is actually the one that I recommend to everyone. It has an adjustable setting. It comes with different um, tools that you can insert and cut different cuts. And it just works so well, stays super sharp, and I love it. Number six is a zester or a microplaner. I have this long one from microplane. I also have a shorter one, but I like the longer one better. I use it obviously to zest lemon. You can use it to grate vegan cheese or regular cheese. I use them all the time and I just think it's one of those things that is a really useful tool to have on hand using to grate garlic. Also ginger is really great and it's fairly small so you can just keep it in a drawer. Number seven is my food processor. I don't use my food processor all that much but it is something that I think everyone should have. They're so great and so useful. I have the Cuisinart 11 cup one. I use it to make nut butters. I use it to make energy balls obviously. You guys have seen me use this a million times and I always get questions about which one I use so I will link it down below and I love the 11 cup size. I think it works great. Number eight is a citrus juicer. I love citrus juicers. I think that squeezing lemon is one of the most annoying things. So having a citrus juicer is a really great way to make my margaritas. We use it to squeeze lemon for dressings. We just use these all the time. So this is one, again, that's super cheap and you can just keep in a drawer. Number nine are mini spatulas. I use these mostly in my videos, but I have found that they are really great to just have in the kitchen, whether you're trying to scoop things out of a jar or you're trying to scoop something out of your blender. I just like having little spatulas on hand because they can get into little crevices and these come in two pairs and they're also super inexpensive. 
Number 10 is a cookie scoop. I use cookie scoops obviously mostly to scoop cookies, but you can use them to make energy balls. You can use them to do melons or scoop anything out like that. And mostly what I love is that they make uniform cookies every single time. And there you have it, my friends. Hope you enjoyed today's video. These are my top 10 kitchen tools, and they're the things that I think every kitchen needs. And I have placed them in priority. So if you're looking for where to invest or where to start, this is what I recommend. And of course, I've linked everything down below. That includes all the brands that I mentioned. This video is not sponsored, as I said, but this is just like what I use and what I love in my kitchen and what I think every kitchen needs. So I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And before we go, I would love to invite you to subscribe. If you are new here and you haven't watched our videos before, we share videos like this, but we also share tons of healthy recipe content, vlogs, healthy lifestyle advice, nutrition advice, etc. Also have a cute dog, which you might see in the background. She might've moved. But this channel is all about that. And if that's something that you enjoy, I would love for you to join us and subscribe. Super easy. All you have to do is tap the red button that is right below this video. And other than that, I think that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to be here with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>